and welcome aboard this is Econ TV Econ TV Olakanar Kangini Dutch and uh, my name is Marcelo Marcelas de Kumam property and today this very beautiful morning being the 24th of October 2023 we have a lots of things to discuss and this uh we what we are going to be discussing here most of them are uh related to girl child woman a girl a wife a mother and everything and i'm so glad to be having uh the beautiful mama with me here and uh, beautiful mama you're welcome aboard. thank you so much uh my name is laura katushabe and uh, today's morning uh i'm waiting for my interviewer to ask me any question that they're going to ask i'm ready to answer anyway she's ready to answer any questions that i will be asking her and as i told you it is uh, related uh, to a girl child a mother a woman a wife and a b c d so wow but on econ tv you can advertise with us you can give us that call on zero seven seven one eight five zero eight definitely you can come and we do a lots of business you just get to us we can help you advertise your uh goodies and abcd now that the festivity is almost on you could be having a lots of things you want to distribute and sell now uh looking at the context of a woman uh, i first want to appreciate uh uh, the fact that God took his time molding a woman. See how beautiful she is. And just look at the smile alone. I'm, I'm just representing very women out there. Don't just concentrate on this one you're seeing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, she's representing every woman out there. And we are sharing a lot of good things. As we very well know, women go through a lot, by the way. Yeah. They go through a lot uh, starting with... Uh, I don't even where to start from but what i know uh, women ladies girls uh, go through a lot and sometimes i hear but they are vulnerable that english is there no mm. it's not like the way you're saying it mm. for us women we are very strong people we are able to do most of the things that men do but not all and uh, the vulnerable people mm. are the pregnant mothers mm. and the ones who are sick but if you're healthy like the way i am right now i'm not sick i'm not pregnant so i'm not vulnerable uh, are women equal to men no okay i was interested in the answer <laughs> and your answer was going to determine <laughs> according to the bible mm, i think okay according to the bible and according to me um it's there in genesis that god created a man to be above everything that was in the world then after he created a helper yeah. someone to help or like to okay yeah it's a helper mm. so i can never say that a woman is equal to a man okay. yeah that is according to nature and according to the bible but now when it comes to our stubbornness as the world mm. women will tell you they are also equal to men because they can still do the very things men do but i don't know which woman can pregnant another woman <laughs> <laughs> ah i have gotten a very big interest uh, like in that which woman can uh, pregnant a man it is something that sounds so interesting so uh, by nature of creation that is how god decided to create us differently neither can a man pregnant a man no it can never happen so you guys do a lot a lot and you take a lot now looking at uh 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 like the lifestyle let's say uh many many times you find that ladies get broken uh also the same bible commits uh, a man to always be a provider but looking at that aspect provide a man has to provide a man has to protect and then there's the other p there are three p's uh, if i'm to remember i know provide protect but in the context of providing there's a way you ladies have gone so wrong you realize uh, when the guy uh works uh, to his best maybe but you guys uh, you want to somebody to provide to you but instead of asking in a good way you ask like you landed someone your money what about that 
Musa banga baba anja. No, that is our privilege as women that you men are supposed to take care of us. So it's not my fault that that's how we were created. Mm. So if I'm requesting from you, I feel it's a mandate that you're supposed to take care of me. If you tell me that ah, it's okay as my wife or as my, I don't know which aspect you're asking me, on which aspect are you meaning the married couple or a boyfriend or just a friend which aspect exactly now in the aspect that many men uh many boys suffer and many men it is in the context of a kind of a relationship whereby we could be dating we could be doing a b c d mm. and of course uh, in most cases it happens okay, when, when people practice uh, when you're dating. so when you're dating and i'm asking something from you i cannot ask it from you when i know you cannot provide isn't it it's also according to you if you lied me like you have money and you don't have me i'll be knowing according to how you told me that you have it you're seeming to be saying that uh some men come to us ladies and you you claim to be able so when i'm asking you i'll be knowing ah this man is able so if you don't have money better tell me that uh, when you're asking me i can afford to give you something of two thousand or ten k rather than me asking you now of, of maybe 500,000 or 1M. When you cannot. Tell, you should specify your levels. So men, I would say there, please specify your level. Eh, I love this alien song. Is it too long? You know, eh? Ladies date different classes of men. So for you, you can specify your class and you'll be knowing if I tell Laura that I'm, in, I'm of this class, she might not accept to date me. So you force yourself to be in a class that you're not in and you find you cannot provide what I, I expect. So it's not, it's you the man to know the class of a woman you should date so that they can ask you the things that you can afford. If you feel you cannot afford to provide expensive things, date cheap girls. Now, the senior ones, even senior ones of these days, they are, they are very they are very active and they know th- expensive things and cheap things. You cannot fool them around. Their parents have given them good things around, you know. So actually, what I can advise you as a boy child or a man out there, go and work hard. Senior one, money. children's work hard. Children, no, not not senior ones. I'm meaning eh? men who want to date classes which are above them. And when they ask you something, you feel they are eh? they are you know they are becoming a bad interest. Oh ha! Yeah. It's not like that. If you feel you don't want to provide for anyone, mm. or if you feel uh, that's not your class, don't go. But if you feel you want the person and you know it's above your class, accept to suffer and be asked some things that you cannot afford. Or you even sell your land to provide if, if it is possible. I've had a conversation with different kind of people and a number of people. And uh, some other people say, and I've heard it from ladies, a lady can get you driving and then she tells you, you think we want those cars of yours. A lady can see you dress nicely, ex- like you're looking expensive, and then at a certain That's point, right. uh, and right. so the big question I'm asking here, does uh, status or class matter? There is what they call dating, as you said. As you're dating someone, you talk, you ask, then you understand the person you're with. Mm. There are people who don't mind about that because mm. they have it already. And all they need is maybe to be loved and respected. And there are people who are dating, okay, who are in love with others just because they need to survive. They are survivors and they are those ones who are who want to settle. So those are two different people. So now, survivors first, and those people. No, mm. Which category are you dating? If you date a student, like a, a, a KIU student or MOOBs or mm. Makerere, is a student and you expect that lady not to ask you money then you're mistaken 
because she will need to buy some new attires maybe they have a dance party she wants to buy some you know some new clothes some they new have some handover at and the she, campus yes and she will not ask everything from mommy and daddy mommy will be like hey, are you mad can't you put on those very clothes you have but she feels like to look different and i i see now the only people taking the, the girls we want out is to ask from a boyfriend money that's you know what we have a dance party i need to buy some attire I need some shoe. You know? Now, village boys, can we really manage that quail? Yeah, I'm telling you you should know your levels. So, when you're there, please make sure you get to know your level. Otherwise, you're live on uh, Econ TV or La Canar Kangididut. And in case you want to have a business with us, reach us on 0771-8508. That's our business number that you can get on to us. And then we get to do a number of things. We are still discussing. And in our discussion, we are looking at things in a boy and a girl kind of a relationship. We've seen people have made mistakes mostly within the edge of uh, people start messing up in which edge according to you it's according to people's understanding it's according to people's understanding uh me what i know people always mess up from the age of uh, 18 19 uh, 20 21 22 up to around 25. so you want to tell me most of the people you know started dating by when they were 18 now if you ask me when i started dating you'll be shocked and it was some if way back. Most of the people. Yeah. Let's say like that. Yeah. Not everybody, by the way. Yeah. Most of the people. So you realize uh, between the age of 18 and around 25, and if God helped you and you passed that age when you're still fresh and clean, it's right time that you have to think otherwise. Do you think it's possible? To some extent. <laughs> <laughs> from 18 to 25 and you survive yeah, yeah there, there are those ones who have survived there are those ones somebody even reaches <laughs> that that they tied someone even if it's switch rope i i doubt i doubt <laughs> 18 to 25 mm. and you survived yeah. oh, well, it is possible there are those I ones who have prize for that one wow so make sure how, how can we check in case somebody avails okay. him or us we shall we shall check You'll check me. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'll check the ladies. Yeah, I'll check the man. Yeah. He will check the lady. I'll check the lady too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways, we are having our good things right there. Uh, remember, this is Econ TV. And uh, the other thing is, uh, uh, just like I said, uh, when it comes close to that kind of age, you realize that people really mess up. Mm -hmm. People have made mistakes. People have hated men. All men are the same. <coughs> People have hated women. I will never date. I will never do what. All it's all me. I don't know really. I don't know what really goes wrong with people. But some other times it could be your mistake. As you said. Because you can go and want a class that does not belong to you. Somebody does not match your status. But people say uh, but class doesn't matter. I don't know how you said class with love. How do you see relationship and class? As in, for me, mm. ac according to my perspective, mm. most uh, ladies date class mm. and uh, most men want to be loved. Like, most men want to settle. Mm. No man wants to waste time wasting his money on someone who is just, you know, passing time. But most ladies are not ready to settle. They want to first eh, enjoy, enjoy, and yet for you at home, mommy is telling you, "I want a terra, and I want a woman. Mm. I want to, s I want you to settle down." And you think Laura is serious, wants to settle with you. So by the time you're becoming very serious, is when I withdraw. Mm. I show you, like you know what, I cannot get married to you right now because of this and this. And for you feel now all women are bad because you got a wrong person who has not you should by the time you're dating someone you should know someone's motive what is exactly what is it exactly they are looking for if they are just having fun then you should be ready not to put your heart like ah huh? anytime i'm taking my wife home no you should be knowing we are having our fun after our fun everyone either will part ways or we can still remain together and now become serious and for you if you if you don't specify that you know what um i want like serious marriage 
and you tell me we are in, in a relationship that i ask you that which re- kind of relationship you're my girlfriend or your boyfriend okay fine we shall have fun by the time you're saying oh we go to my home now for you don't want to go to my home i will tell you that was not part of the plan now you have talked about these guys who want to settle and these guys who want to do what how like now for you a lady how do you detect a guy who is really serious and a guy who is not serious i am very sure this man date you okay a guy who just wants to have fun because there's a guy wanting to have fun and then he comes and has fun on you he runs out are you ready to settle Uh, and then he takes off so uh uh-huh so you should know even you can ask her or him that Mm. really are you going to marry me now there's 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 that question that is you asking Mm -hmm. and the person will probably say yes because it is the simplest word to say yes and yet inside their hearts that yes should be followed by the action don't always be taken by people's words even men always come tell you a lot of good words even ladies will come and tell lots of good promises but what do they do Mm. the which which action shows what okay what do they say and what do they do okay yeah if i tell you mm, i want to marry you i'm serious what what and yet what i'm doing is contrary to that then you should know that ah, that one those are just words you know we know you men actually you it's, it's no longer a very big burden to us ladies what we that? can know this one is just a joker this one is serious eh? we can know so you can be in position to yeah, tell because the man who is serious will start telling you about their family yeah. Um, about uh, how many children you're going to produce even we'll be giving to talk to the mother mm-hmm. we'll be giving to talk to the brothers and the father if your man goes ahead to give you talk to the parents then that man is serious there's a tendency of uh, men having a number of lovers uh, a number of girlfriends even you you know and you ladies tend maybe now because i have very many girlfriends and lovers around i run around town and then you'll want to get pregnant for me Thank uh does much. that really mean that i will really settle in for that's, you that is and how can good. you advise other people to mostly girls to that's take great good. care of that i have seen ladies hurrying to get pregnant for marcelo uh and because you start, you start crying this guy is a womanizer come on talk about and yet you knew had many girlfriends and you ran to get pregnant so that they can marry you you become the home woman my friend you're going to produce those children whether 50 of them when your man is still running around ladies because you knew him at first that he has many what girlfriend so do you think you're going to change anything anyway there's that tendency of ah things can change i can change him my dear (laughs) you should know how to run around your own circles because you can change yourself but you cannot change someone else that is when you start forcing someone to come home early and you start forcing someone not to put on some kinds of clothes you force someone some different lifestyle that he cannot afford you become a prayer warrior from your life and he will call you all, all sorts of names because he's uncomfortable around you you're trying to make him what he's not because you want to change someone yeah. People have different lifestyles. If you see Marcelo has a lot of girlfriends, mm. don't think you're, you're good to change anything. You, you will pray and fast mm. and, and grow thin. And run around <laughs> churches. <laughs> it, nothing will change, trust me. Yes. You'll move around churches as if you're looking for justice in court. <laughs> always with the wrong people when we know they are wrong people. Mm. But you feel, I will change everything. I will pray with prayers. Yes, we are not saying you shouldn't pray. Wow. You will fast even if for one year. I don't know if you'll survive it. But nothing will change. So please, people have different characters. If you f- see that character is there, mm. be rest assured that uh, I can either stay with him like that or I quit. All right. It has been a very cool and a nice conversation having you, Laura. Allow me to thank you for accepting my invite thank you so much for turning up on econ tv i would want you to just say some shout out to the viewers and some of uh, those people that you know as we promise them a lot of other things all i can say is thanks for watching econ tv it's one of the best tvs that we have around if you have any advertisements and anything it's the only way out it's on youtube and you can get it on tiktok anyway you feel is conversant with you and um, 
to all the ladies out there we should know how to run around our circles and we should be hard working let's not wait for things free things because free things can okay we have a saying in Rinyankole that so if you want free things it will tear your what your 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 you know cuz someone will give you his money for free then when he wants the what and the you view, don't the want the uh, view, when he wants the th- the nani and you don't want it can easily be by force so please keep your nani by working so hard yeah. and do not go and want love free things otherwise it has been so good my name is Marcelo Marcela is the Kumam property and behind the camera we've been having the lover boy the lover boy in Soroti town talking about Mr. Deke and uh, uh, catch up with us in the next kind of episode on Econ TV don't forget of course to like subscribe and do everything right there Econ TV Ola Kanar Kangini Duch Bye bye.